how's everyone doing welcome to my channel hope you're having a fun field day hope you're catching as much fun as you can today as you should have seen we'll be looking at some things the poor do that the rich don't because these are things we overlook some of our spending habits which we really don't focus on but these are the reasons why the rich remain rich or they grow richer and the poor just stay where they are in poverty okay so stay tuned and we'll talk more on that in the video when i talk about the poor i really don't refer to to anyone's income level like it's it's about the mindset it's about whatever you have upstairs because there are people who have who actually earn way more than some other people but they don't think of investing they don't think of saving the other one to do is live as you go like spend as you earn <laughs> if there's anything like that like whenever they receive money all they think about is spending and what next they can do they pay their bills and they do this and the money's done that's actually a poor person why because that person has nothing like they don't live for any other thing but spending working to earn and spending all right now the very first thing i'll talk about is the never enough mentality like the never enough mindset have you ever heard of the phrase it's never enough like what you earn is never ever enough this is trait number one never spend all of your earnings like whenever you have something at the end of the month or whenever you get paid when you receive your earnings make sure you save out something from that because even if you don't money will still never be enough to solve all the problems you have so if you take out 10 percent 20 percent from whatever you have it will still not be enough so, but at least you've achieved something that month what is that you've been able to save up something for any future investment if an opportunity comes up tomorrow at least you have something to invest into that opportunity the rich never spend all of their earnings that is one thing we should note the poor always spend more than what they earn while the rich never spend all of their earnings if you look around you in the society when a poor person has an increase in his earnings the first thing they want to do is oh i can get my dream house i've had an increase and what do they do they go for a mortgage they go they go into debt to be able to buy that dream house and you realize that in the course of the year or three years you spend three years of, of your earnings just paying for that debt whereas the rich would stay but even if they have an increase or a raise in their earnings they still remain in that poor house or in the medium or averagely okay house and they look for other investment opportunities where they can put in that money and it yields something for them they earn more profit when you finally see the rich getting into their dream house know for sure that they, it's, they are at that point where they can actually purchase that dream house and it does not consume or it does not use up to 50% of their earnings. Guys, next up is the poor always spend on things they really don't need. You know, there's a difference between a want and a need. You might want something, but it's not of absolute necessity. It's not something you really need. The poor never identify the difference between these two things. What I'm saying is, if you should be able to be at that point in your life where you look at the things happening around you and you identify what's of absolute need. You cannot have just one stream of income, you cannot be a salary earner and, and all you can think about is spoiling yourself at this point in time. A necessity in your life at this time is getting more streams of income. Out of those other streams where you have profit, maybe then you can spoil yourself. You can definitely pamper yourself once in a while. I mean, when you work, when you earn money, you should be able to take care of your body. But I'm, what I'm saying is you should go for things that are absolutely necessary. The rich, before they actually allocate money for outdoor activities, things like that, they've actually already invested in themselves first by maybe studying the, the market, what's trending, what's the best sector to invest in at this point in time. You know, there's a local saying that the poor have big TVs at home while the rich have big libraries which is absolutely true why because whenever the rich has a little money extra money to spare they go first to do research buy books invest they look for what's the next big thing happening in town the next big thing happening in the world and they are always looking for an opportunity to invest when they've invested 
then they think about what they can do to take care of themselves and their family whereas the poor what do they think first oh i just earned maybe a thousand dollars this month i should maybe go get some new clothes and things like that i go to the spa i go to the market and shop for myself which is not wrong but at that point in your life it's not a necessity you don't need that be frank with yourself you need to grow more income streams before you can do things like that you always want to get the latest thing in town the most trending thing which is not wrong but first grow more streams of income when you actually see a rich man do that no he has already invested somewhere and whenever he's spending like that he spends out of his profits so be wise never you always go about spending money when you've not invested some part of it all right we move on to the next there's always something trending there's always something new maybe new gadgets new wristwatch new bag and everyone always rushes for that if you actually analyze the population that always goes for those things you realize that the majority of them are the poor whenever a new gadget comes out whenever a new a branded wristwatch comes out a branded bag shoes the poor are those who rush to get those first the queue, the, they go to the companies and stand in a queue just to buy those and they're always usually very expensive. What do you see the rich do? At this point, the rich actually take a step back. They analyze the, the economy of that country or wherever they are and they're like, oh, if it's a new rich to show, they're like, okay, so the jewelry industry is actually the next big thing. So if I get to invest in this company, it means I'll earn a lot as profit. So you see the difference in their mindset, their mentality, how they analyze situation. The rich sees that as an opportunity for him to invest. Like, oh, this is where I can put in money and get more money. Whereas the poor are always like, oh, this is the next thing in town. This is what everyone's wearing. I want to meet up to standard. I'm not saying the rich do not do that, but before you see them doing buying those latest brands and everything, they've already invested the most part of their money. Next up guys, this is actually something that we see every day everywhere. The poor always want to look rich. The poor always want to match up to look like, oh, they want to, they always want to look a thousand dollars. Now, there's nothing wrong in looking a thousand dollars, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong. But if you get into branded shops, branded stores, the poor are those who actually want to buy those things so they can match up with their friends when they walk past. Some will be like, oh, that shoes cost this amount of money, so this person should be rich. They're always trying to look rich, to appeal to the society, like to, to give the wrong impression about themselves. They always want to dress rich, wear this new hair, or have this new bag, this new purse for ladies, do their nails, pedicure and everything, which is not wrong most rich and wealthy people actually go for normal ordinary clothes like they're always just so casually dressed and when even when you see the rich wear these branded clothes i'm not saying they don't wear these no they do wear luxury clothes and luxury brands but when they do this sometimes some of them are actually paid to wear these branded and luxury clothes or some of them when they have occasions they do buy those too i mean to to look like their personality now why will a company actually pay them to wear their luxury clothes why because of the value they place on themselves when you place value on yourself you actually attract all those things you don't need to rush after them when you place value on yourself they will come after you and how do you place value on yourself study look at the next big thing invest earn more people when you earn more you realize that people respect you you realize that your value adds for people stop trying to look rich when you've not done anything to increase your income level we move guys we move like literally move next up now the poor always want to get rich quick the get rich quick syndrome like <laughs> i just made that up the get rich quick syndrome the poor are those they are the only people who actually think that they can put in money somewhere and bam tomorrow they become so wealthy like you you get to invest you see an opportunity whether it's good or bad and you put in a thousand dollars or a thousand francs to every and bam you expect to be rich next weekend because you just put some money there and, and, and it grows let's take for example no controversy on this topic for example gambling 
The poor man will think, oh, this guy will sit and think the whole day, say, I need to earn more money. How does he want to earn more money? <laughs> he wants to multiply his streams of income by going to gamble. You go somewhere and you gamble and it so happens that you lose everything you earn. What will, what will a typical rich or wealthy person do? They sit back and they observe. They see that more people are coming to gamble. Oh, this is something good. Maybe in my town or in my city, there's nothing like this. They actually look into that line of business. They evaluate it and they look for an opportunity to put this where they like to take it to where they're coming from. Now, they take this idea and open up something like that in their hometown, in their own city. A gambling spot where they're not just thinking of how to get rich quick. They know. The rich know that. It's like a plant. You plant a seed, it has to die, start shooting, then you see the leaves sprout and it grows into a full-blown something. The rich are aware of the fact that it's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. So why you are thinking of coming to just put in some money and expect to leave by the end of the day with so much money, the rich look at that as an opportunity. So they open a, a gambling spot in their own city and people just streaming. The poor keep streaming in. I, I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. Like That is how the rich person looks at things. They don't let opportunities pass them by. They walk down the street and they come up with ideas at every point in time. Whereas the poor are looking for any opportunity to just put in money and get a multiple fold of that. Whereas they don't care whether what's happening, how does the money grow. They don't seek to look at any process. Actually, they don't want the process. That's why they always want to get rich quick. And that's so wrong. Getting rich or earning more money, having more streams of income, it's a process which you must go through like i said when you plant a seed it doesn't just sprout up so mind you the poor always have the get rich quick syndrome whereas the rich take out their time to carve a well planned out idea invest and they know that in the long run they'll earn money that's why even when there's economic crisis the rich stay rich like it hardly affects them why because they have multiple streams of income and these multiple streams of income are not just short term we move on to the very last, guys. The very last point I'll be giving out today. This point is, is the last, but it's not the least. You must be conscious of the people you surround yourself with. The poor always, that like, if you look around you, someone who has a poverty mentality or mindset surrounds himself with such people. They surround themselves with people who are at the same level with them. For example, you have just one stream of income. You're a salary earner. You surround yourself with just people who have just one stream of income and they all have this never enough mentality like, oh, how much do they even pay us here? They keep complaining what they pay us is not even enough to pay our bills, talk less of getting to save up something and blah, 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 blah. The rich do not do that. Listen, guys, take out your time to observe anybody who's wealthy around you. They have three categories of friends. They have those who are below them, they have those they are at the same level with, and they have those who are above them. This is a topic for another day, we'll get to analyze this. Now, why do they have these? Because they always need someone to push them, someone to encourage them, someone to someone they look up to like, I need to be like this person, I, by the end of the year, I should be able to have earned this amount of money like this person did. Just imagine from one deal, this person was able to have this amount as profit. That's why the poor always complain that when their friends get rich, they turn to abandon them where they are. That's not the case. It's not like those relationships don't mean anything to them. It's just that at that point in their life, they need a pushing force. Like they need people who will push them, people who can encourage them to grow. So the poor always surround themselves with people who are at that same level with them. Like they don't want to have the wealthy people like they feel inferior and stuff, stuff like that. So they just stay around people who are of the same category with them which is so bad so always be watchful of the people you surround yourself with all right guys we've come to the end of the video i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it if there's anything you want to ask of course get to the comment section and ask and i'll be right there to respond to everything you have to ask if there's something you have in mind what you'd love to see just drop it there i'll be there to comment some of you actually watch the videos without subscribing please do me a favor and subscribe hit the notification bell so you get notified whenever i put up a video and i hope you enjoyed this until then see you in the next video